Stan Gibalisco here. Uh, I am currently tuned to 14.07010 megahertz on the 20 meter ham radio band, uh, listening to some phase shift keyed signals. Well, there there was one. Now the the little band is entirely devoid of signals. Hopefully, something will come back. Here we go. This is a signal. Well, I've got to got to manipulate the mouse and find him. Zero in on him. That vertical yellow line is the signal, and now you can see what he's saying. This is a commemorative station, I think, somewhere in Canada, commemorating the War of 1812, 200th anniversary. There's my log. I haven't called him yet. This is my pride and joy, 46-inch megalomaniac uh, light-emitting diode display. It shows the radar centered on Rapid City. Some thunderstorms way down south, but not close enough to matter. These uh, uh, are the signals that we're hearing rendered in a different uh, format. Here, frequency is on the horizontal axis, and amplitude is, or signal strength is on the vertical axis. The top orange waveform shows the uh, same thing as the lower one does, but the lower one samples at a faster interval so that you see it, uh, you see more detail in terms of time. Here we go back to the waterfall, so-called waterfall display. Frequency is again on the horizontal axis, and the thing scrolls down by time, as you can see, so time is on the vertical axis. However, this is a three-dimensional display because it also shows signal strength in terms of the color that you see. The yellow is brightest, then green is a little weaker, blue is a little weaker, and violet is a little weaker still, and then black is nothing. Over here is the computer that shows the lightning strikes taking place in the United States at the present time. I'm in the Black Hills of South Dakota. There's nothing within a hundred miles of me. Here's where the the parts of the earth where the sun is shining and the parts where it's not shining. Of course we're in the nighttime right now. It is 10.32 uh, PM or uh, 0432 coordinated universal time. Uh, that's of interest to ham radio operators because it helps us know where the radio waves are most likely to to travel the best. On this particular band they would travel the best over the daylight path and not so well over the nighttime path. We're still hearing some stuff though because it hasn't been dark for that long. So this is the Nerd Cave in all of its glory being operated by a true nerd who still feels kind of like a kid when he looks at that display, I tell you.